When Labour meets for its annual conference on the weekend, my party needs to stop scrapping it out in public like characters from Street Fighter and make an important decision about who we are and what we stand for. Democracy and progress or elitism and exclusion. Fight. The battleground for this clash of values is getting some MPs worried it could be game over for their political careers. I speak, of course, of mandatory reselection, or as I prefer to call it, open selection. This is a proposal to enhance democracy in Labour by enabling popular grassroots candidates to race, like drivers in Mario Kart, against sitting MPs for the honour of being a parliamentary candidate before the next general election, giving members genuine choice. Mmm, no thanks. As things stand, MPs are automatically reselected ahead of each election unless members win a difficult and divisive trigger ballot. This means MPs in safe seats have an effective job for life. This denies opportunities for new talented leaders to rise up Labour's ranks and ensures that Labour's parliamentary benches are occupied by political zombies. So Parliament is a bit like an ideological house of the dead, out of sync with a society that, since 2008, has dramatically changed. Labour centrists may well be shaking in their boots at the prospect of losing a selection battle. But democracy is about giving voters what they want, not guaranteeing job security for career politicians. Labour under Jeremy Corbyn is on the brink of power. Why would members risk propping up MPs who don't support this election-winning vision?